Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft World War 2 tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going ahead and doing the Munitions Panzer IV with a crew of at least 6. Dimensions, uh, you can see the dimensions on screen. These are just the hull of the uh, Panzer IV. Its role was a munition tank. I really couldn't figure out what its actual role was. It basically supplied the Carl Geralt. No armaments on this but 20 to 80 millimeter thick armor. Engine was a 12 cylinder Maybach HL120. And you can see here, max speed of 42 kilometers per hour. I don't know if that's with or without the crane, but anyways, enjoy the tutorial, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to before here, bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the munitions Panzer IV. Now, I couldn't really find an exact name. That's basically what I was able to find. I'm not quite sure if there was any kind of actual name for this if the, or if this tank was even real. I, I, I think it was because there's actually... I have real pictures or stuff like that. I, I might be real, may not. I have I have no clue. But basically, this uh, would accompany the uh, Carl Geralt over here, which I guess it is real because Carl was real. So probably a real uh, vehicle, I would imagine. And uh, basically, this would uh, carry ammunition and also be used to uh, load the shells in. Because as you can imagine, the shells on this thing are pretty damn big. So it's going to need a pretty hefty uh, crane to actually carry it. And it just kind of looks cool. Crane mounted on the Panzer IV. I love it. So basically, we're going to be going ahead and using the chassis of my, my newly designed Panzer IV for this. So really nice. Um, I'm really uh, happy with the way it came out. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, overall, it's going to be a nice uh, nice little build. So uh, of course, you're probably going to want to have this uh, occupying the space next to the uh, next to the Carl because this would be, of course, used to uh, you know load artillery shells and stuff like that. You guys can also be able. You guys can also move this crane to be at like 45 degree angles or like a 90 degree angle to actually look like it's actually loading the shell on the rack as well, which is another cool feature about this. Uh, but uh, overall, just really like the build. Thing came out pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a closer look at it. So of course, right here you have the main crane uh, arm like this. Very nice. Has some pretty good little details on it. Overall, pretty satisfied with it. Uh, down here we have a little bl uh, black wool block that's going to basically represent the uh, roller of the cable. So the cable would uh, basically be rolled up right there. Um, just a little bit of supports and kind of design around the side here. Uh, pretty nice overall. Uh, then for the front here you just have a little bit of a viewport here for the driver and that's about it. Followed by uh, two headlights. So nothing else going on really there in, in um, that uh, aspect. And uh, then uh, basically taking a uh, look basically down in here, you got your, this is basically where your fenders would be going across here. And then you have like this huge ammo compartment here. And uh, this could support some of the cells for the Carl. So as you can see, it can carry a few shells itself. I would imagine that they probably had some transport tracks, trucks or something like that kind of uh, parked up against it. So you guys could use a modified version of my Opal Blitz or the Opal Mauler actually over there. Uh, maybe carrying some shells and stuff like that uh, to... Uh, you know, kind of look like they've got a whole resupply <laughs> convoy kind of going on here to keep this uh, bad boy, uh, you know, keep this bad boy supplied. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much the munitions Panzer IV variant. Hopefully you guys uh, do enjoy it. I think it looks pretty damn cool. And um, yeah, so with that, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. Alrighty, guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer one. Now for layer one, what we want to do for this is we just want to go ahead and start off by placing down a, a stone brick top slab like this followed by a stone brick half slab now this right here is going to represent the right front up here so the stone brick half slab and top slab that's what we just built taking a look at this vehicle from above it's uh, the overall hull of the vehicle is kind of small but you do have this crane so again make sure you have a uh, good space for it but i would imagine you're putting this next to the carl and the carl takes up quite a bit of space so i'd imagine that the space you're putting this in is uh pretty uh, widely open but you know you also don't have to use it for the carl you can use it for just you know recovery and all that stuff as well but uh, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and continue on with the tutorial. So after we go ahead and place down that stone brick half set there, we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick stairs and just go back a total of one, two, three, four, five, and sorry, six and seven back. So seven stone brick stairs like that. And then we just want to place down a stone brick top side coming off the last one. Going ahead and uh, basically going to the side here, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick uh, top side right there. Place down a row of three there of... Uh, stone brick top steps kind of come on off it off it there in the front and then here in the back we just want to go and go to this uh stair right here place down a row three across like so and then we just want to place down three iron trap doors across the back there and that's just going to add a little bit of a extra little color there a little bit of a line there it's not completely important but just there for a little bit of extra effect 
And uh, now we can just go ahead and take our st uh, stone brick top slabs and just go ahead and fill in this space down here. Now this is going to be the very bottom of the hole. And uh, if you plan on doing some kind of interior, that's going to be the very uh, bottom of the tank that you'll be able to work with. So uh, that's what you have there. And then over here on this side, we just want to go ahead and uh, duplicate the same thing that we did on the other side. So just go ahead and put your stone brick stairs in and the stone brick uh, top slabs and stuff like that on this side. And uh, with that, you guys are pretty much good to go. We have one last thing we actually need to do, and that's just going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate in the front there in the center and just open it up like that. Just add a little bit of extra detail to the front. And uh, with that, guys, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. Alrighty, guys, so going and moving on to layer two. Layer two, we're going to go ahead and basically continue our work on the tracks and also start to get a little bit into the hole. So basically for this, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick stair on top of the stone brick top side like that on your side. And then in between it, we're just going to place down a row of three here of stone brick half saps just across like that in the front. Then we want to go ahead and place down a row of five here of, uh, of these... Um, Science stain clay blocks, just like that, so row 5 all the way across. And on uh, either side here, we can go ahead and place down a wooden trap door, like that, to kind of represent the spoked wheels, or kind of like they, uh, yeah, the spoke wheels, basically, is what you have going on there. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and go to the sides here, take our stone brick top steps, and we want to go ahead and go back a total of 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down 2 stone brick half steps. So, going over here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, just like this, and... Like that to the back then we can take our science stain clay run along the sides here all the way back like this also the same over here and again if you want to do some kind of interior this is pretty much in the interior space very small there's not much interior unfortunately but uh it's one of the uh, only things about the build so you know you'll have to kind of work around that and then we're just going to go ahead, then we're just going to go place down one, one last science stain clay block here on the very end to kind of close that off now in the very back here we want to go and take our smooth, smooth sandstone place down one and two blocks like that fall by a cobblestone wall over on the left side and that's gonna be your back muffler and uh, that's what you want to have basically set up there and uh, that guy's right there's pretty much it for your second layer and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer three already is so going ahead and moving on to layer three layer three we're going to go ahead and uh, basically uh, start to work on uh, this whole section right here right before we get into the crane and the uh, ammo uh, compartment back here so basically for this we just want to go ahead and place down a uh, gray carpet on top of the snow brick stair there in the front to kind of complete the fenders and then on the sides here we're going to go ahead and take our snow brick half steps and place down one two and three back like that then we're going to place down a snow brick stair actually two snow brick stairs followed by two snow brick half steps another snow brick stair like this and then a another snow brick half step like that and then going ahead and going over here we're going to place down one two and three snow brick half steps followed by two snow brick stairs Two stone brick half sabs, a stone brick stair, and then a stone brick half sab, just like that. So, so it looks something like that. Actually, over here on this side, I actually only went ahead and placed down one stair. So you can go ahead and delete that one there in the front, so you just want to have something like that. And uh, one thing you can also do is you can kind of add a little bit of extra gear on the side by kind of maybe putting down a uh, sandstone half sab or something like that on the side there. That's completely optional, just adds a little bit of extra gear onto it. Um, again, completely optional though. Then coming off of these stone brick half steps in the front here, we're going to place down an item frame like that, and that's going to be our front headlights there. And uh, then we just want to go ahead and go to this row right here, place down one and two, sign stain clay blocks across like that, followed by a stone brick top step, so that's going to be your little viewport there for the driver. And uh, then we just want to go ahead and place down a row, row of three here of cyan stain clay, and then a second row of three, just like that. And uh, you basically are going to need to have it like this, and then we're just, we can go ahead and run this along the sides here. Just like that and you pretty much can just go ahead and fill this in it's you know not really much going on there so you can just go ahead and fill that in if you really want to right there and uh, so you, we're just going to go ahead and fill it into this point back here then on the very back here we just want to go ahead and place down a total of three or sorry two rows of three there of uh stone brick top steps that kind of come off an overhang that's going to be part of our uh ammo compartment and uh that guy's right there is pretty much it for your third layer one last thing we actually need to do is we need to go ahead and take some uh stained glass but uh, this vehicle is a, this design is a little bit older, so I'm going to go ahead and replace these with actual glass because I think glass looks a little bit better. So you guys can go ahead and make that swap, or you guys can use yellow stained glass. Completely up to you guys. Uh, but anyways, that's it for layer three. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer four. Alrighty, guys. So basically, what I decided to do is I'm going to be going ahead and uh, basically working on the ammo the ammo compartment. I'm going to include that with the hole, and then the crane's going to be like a separate part of this tutorial that we're going to work on. So. We're just going to go and focus on the back here, and then we'll go ahead and come back to the crane and to finish the vehicle off. 
So uh, basically to go ahead and start off with, one thing I did forget is that there is like this little uh, netting on the side here, maybe to catch the guy if he fell off or something, I don't know. So we're just going to place down three iron trap doors there on the side. Not completely necessary, but again, looks looks kind of cool. So I don't know, we got a pig over there. Uh, but anyways, going ahead and moving on. So we want to go ahead and start off by taking our uh, iron trap doors here, placing down one on top of the stone brick top step like that, and then the second one like that a little bit back. So just like this. Then we want to go ahead and take our science tank clay, place down a row five all the way across like that. And then right along the sides here, we're just going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, and five. So basically in, row, in the row with this uh, stone brick, this row three here, stone brick top slabs. And then get into row five all the way across. And then over here, we're going to go and do the same thing. So this right here is basically your ammo compartment. And you guys can kind of see what I did here. I kind of put the shells in there. Um, so nothing too fancy about it. Also on the back here, we're going to go ahead and take our iron bars, place down one, two, and three across like that. So it should be a little off-centered, but you want to have it like that. So uh, with that, you guys are uh, pretty much to go for this layer, uh, layer four. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our last layer of the hole, which is going to be layer five. Alrighty, guys, so we're going ahead and move on to layer five. For layer five, it's going to be uh, pretty simple stuff. All we want to do for this is we just want to go ahead and place down two stone brick half steps on your side with space of one in between it. Then we just want to go ahead and place down stone brick half slabs all the way back to this point right here. Going back up here, we're going to go ahead and go to the second stone brick half slab here and go, out, go ahead and go off by one and then kind of do three across like that. And uh, this is going to show that it's open. And uh, then we just want to go ahead and bring these stone brick half slabs all the way across. And then the same thing over here, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate what we did on the air side. So just like that. And then on the back here, we can go ahead and place down three upside down stone brick stairs like down the back there just for a little bit of extra, uh, you know, shape to it. So basically looking at this, this is basically the uh, top portion of this kind of opened, opened up so you can kind of see the hatches would fold to the side um, to kind of look something like that. So that's it pretty much opened up and you guys are probably, probably going to want it to be opened up. I believe most of the designs were opened up and I, I'm pretty sure that if it was closed, it was kind of like. It wasn't really closed all the way. I, I don't really know. I didn't really see any pictures of it closed. So uh, this that's basically it. designed open and you guys can kind of modify it to make it closed. It shouldn't be too difficult. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the main design for the vehicle. Layer layer five and all that stuff. We're done, with, we're done with the main vehicle. So now let's go ahead and move on to the crane and finish this build up. Alrighty, guys. So go ahead and move on to the crane. Now the crane here is a little bit more complicated than the uh, rest of the build. So it may be a little bit difficult to follow, but I'm going to try my very best to explain it and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, do your very best to uh, follow it through. But anyways, to go ahead and get started, we're gonna place down an upside down stone brick stair, like that on the side here, fall by a second one, and that's gonna step your very, the, the, the base of it right there. Then we just wanna go ahead and place down two stone brick top steps coming off on either side. So just like that. Now, uh, basically this, this uh, crane is not symmetrical, so make sure you follow this uh, part uh, very closely. For this part here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a cyan stain clay block. Then in the center here, we're going to place down a cyan stain clay block, followed by a black wool block. And that's going to, again, be going to be where basically the cable reel right there. Then on the side here, we're going to place down a stone brick top sub, followed by a cobblestone wall. So as you can see, they are a little bit different, so make sure you take that into account. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what it looks like over there. And also, we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, come off the back there. So now for our, our kind of like next uh, row up here, we're going to place down two cyan stain clay blocks like this, followed by a cobblestone wall on the uh, left side. And then over here on the right, nothing's going to really go on over here. All we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair on uh, either side. And then in the center, I believe that is a top step. Yeah, it's a top step. So we're just going to place down a top step there in the center. So looking at our crane, she looks something kind of like this so far and uh, from above like this. So that's what you want to have. Now, uh, basically for this portion here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go to this, this science snake clay block right here. Go up one, two, and three. Cobblestone walls followed by a, or sorry, only two cobblestone walls, my bad, followed by a science snake clay block with a button on either side. And then behind this, we're just going to go ahead and place down a, uh, basically three iron bars that go up like that for, to kind of show the cable there. And uh, now for the arm of the crane. So for this, it's going to be uh, pretty simple. What we want to do is we just want to go ahead and go off of this stone brick upside down stair at an angle here. So we have our one stone brick half slab. And then we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab, followed by another stone brick half slab. So you can kind of see what we're doing here with the angle. 
But uh, basically we're gonna place down the three of these half steps and top steps, so just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and have it go in. So it's gonna go ahead and kind of come over like that. So just like this, it's gonna kind of cut in and uh, kind of flow across the center here. And we just wanna go ahead and place down a total of, uh, basically we're gonna place down a total of four of these. So we have uh, two already. Now we have three and then we have four. So we just wanna go ahead and place something like that. And of course, over here on this side, we're gonna go ahead and place down the same three snow brick half stabs, just like this. So just like that. So basically looking at this from above, something like that from the side, something like that. That's what you wanna have basically for the uh, arm of the crane. And then uh, for this section here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the science thing clay block here, place down one and two snow brick half stabs. Then we're gonna go ahead and go up with two snow brick top stabs, so like that. And again, we're just going to kind of repeat this, repeat a similar pattern. So just, you know, two, up, two, up. And right up here, we're going to go ahead. And this, this row right here is a little bit different. This top row, this is going to go ahead and go across by three. So that's going to be a little bit different. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a stone brick half stab on top of that top stab like that. Followed by a cyan stain clean block on the very end there with a button on either side. And this right here is where our cable is going to come from. So uh, for the crane. You're just going to go ahead and place down some iron bars going down like that to represent the cable. So just like that. Nothing too uh, fancy about it. And uh, basically to have it, have it, have the clamp, if you guys want to have the clamp here, well, uh, what you guys can do for this is place down a, uh, we'll go ahead and place down a full block here, followed by a stone brick stair on either side, and then a stone brick calf slab underneath the stairs. And we can go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door here because I think that will work best here. And just place down an iron tra trap door in that space like that. And that right there will kind of be the clamp without the uh, the shell. And of course with the shell, pretty self-explanatory. Just kind of fits in just like that. So that guy's right there is pretty much it for the munitions Panzer IV variant. Looks pretty cool. Hopefully you guys do enjoy and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me proper credit. This anything from a sign the below to link to my channel in this video if this is apparent on any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to uh, make these tutorials. But uh, anyways, guys, um, also be sure to suggest what World War II vehicles you want to see next time in my tutorial series. And I'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as possible. But that, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.